Okay, I am back. Uh, the heat from the mine habanero is pretty much disappeared. Only a little bit, a little bit hot. It was not that bad. So either I'm more used to them and my tolerance is up, or that one was just a little weak, but delicious, less heat, good. Like, I mean, just we're, we're solid. So I stand by my rating of nine out of 10. But that means since the heat has worn off, I have to hurt myself, guys. So here's what we're doing. Brain strain, massive. Mm. Mm. I love these peppers. My tolerance is low right now, I think. So, mm. here we go. All right, you know the drill. We chop up, look at it. Um, I'm probably just gonna do straight up everything, seeds and all. Um, I don't really need the seeds, but I do. Ugh, I kind of like the pheno, but I just want to like throw down. So I can probably get seeds and another pod later on. Um, again, this is from uh, Making Heat Clayton in the Pepper Lovers community. He just likes to see me squirm. So here we go. I chopped it. Oh, lovely, hateful. Oh my God, there's a hair on it. I bet you didn't know I grew fuzzy, or I got fuzzy peppers. All right, so we have that nice, hateful yellow on the inside. It does have the red walls. They are very thin. Um, it does have lots of bumps, therefore meaning it should be filled to hell with capsaicin oil. Um, a couple black seeds, but that's not really a problem for me. I don't care. Very seedy. Ah, oh, smells hot. Smells floral. I so much pepper. Okay, and real fast before I do tank this, um, I need to stop saying, um, they are 1 to 1.2 million Scovilles. They are called brain strain, and most of the brain peppers, like Genghis brain, um, brain collapse, stuff like that, they have a vague brain shape to them, and I think it's because you have that dual hemisphere look to it. It looks like a uh, monster's brain, if I had to say something. But kind of brainy, it's vi this is probably one of the most evil and crazy looking phenos I've seen. The ones that I've got for my chocolate are looking more kind of uh, maruga -y, kind of you get the lobes and then the stinger coming out of the center, which I'm very excited about. And I have one ripening and we'll get to that whenever we can. But again, it smells like a hot pepper. My mouth is watering again. It's trying to warn me. And just before I do this, here we go. I'm gonna wash my mouth out just so I can get. The whole experience. I know it's been three minutes. I'm trying to, okay, here we go. So brain strain red, making heat. Yeah, I'm making me hurt. All right, here we go. Oh, that was so floral. Ooh. Trying to get everything out of my mouth. That was so much pepper. Oh my God. Okay. Slow creep. My mouth is already primed, so slow creep. Definitely in my throat. That is hate everywhere. That is all over my mouth. Definitely under my tongue. It is creeping up um, right off the bat. Much harder than the habaneros. It is in my throat. It's like right straight back in my throat. Mmm. My ears are kind of ringing. Welcome to the list. Ooh, 13 peppers of pain, 13 pods of pain, something like that. Ooh, baby. Here we go. Oh. My lips don't like it. 
Oh, my salivary glands don't like it. I am trying to get rid of it in my mouth. Here we go. Now, classically, and kind of proven true for this one as well, brain strains don't overly kill me. It's hot. It's real hot. But it's not like deathly hot. Ooh, talking hurts. Mouth's kind of trembling. Ooh, baby. Oh. It's doable, guys. It's doable. Come on. All right, I feel like we peaked. My gums are glowing. I can feel that throb. I like it. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, you can see my lips shaking. Oh, come on, baby. Okay, so brain strains, they kind of have a similar heat to a habanero, which I think is one of the parents. That's most of the parents of the super hots. Okay, I'm not touching my, my eyes with my hands, but very similar heat, it's very stingy. Uh, it's like active, uh, active fire, not like coal, like kind of what an annulum does. Ooh, it stings everywhere, especially as the tongue moves, like whenever you talk or like live. But we're good. We're good. Uh, so, once it peaks, it peaks. It just kind of sits around. Um, it's still in the throat. It's not as bad. It's not as acute. I can live with this. Ooh, baby. Oh. Here we go. It's coming down a little bit. It's coming down a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Yee. Yeah, there was no, no citrus, no good flavors. That was a lot of floral. I'm really used to brain strains being real tasty. That broke me of that. Mm, bad boy. My papa's staring at me. She's worried. <laughs> I'm good, big mess. We're good. Okay, coming down, coming down. Oh, down towards habanero level. Ooh. Salivating like crazy. Every time I pause, I'm trying to have to swallow. And it's just reigniting that. Less so, less so. We're getting good, we're getting good. Fun fact about me, I have a high pain tolerance. I don't get endorphin runs. So what the pain is, the pain is. Whew. Ooh, my mouth lit up. I tell you what, here we go. Oh, way to kick off this list. All right, let's see if I got a little bit left in this. Okay, that tamped it down, it's gonna come back up. I'm gonna burn a little bit more, that's fine. But, whew, yeah, brain strength for heat. Ugh. That is an eight out of 10. It's quick and it's fiery. That is a forest fire, woo. So, if you're gonna rock these, if you're gonna grow them, they're lovely peppers. Oh, they grow, they put on some pods pretty quick. Mm. They have an, there are many different phenos. They're all equally terrifying. Definitely get you hold of some, but making heat peppers, starting off strong. Woo! 